This week on Fishette, John reveals a secret summertime trolling system you can use to trigger rod bending strikes from Big Bad Basin Running Walleye. There's one right there. Yep. <laughs> this is gonna end up being one of them days that's gonna be a lot of fun. We just got started. These fish are gonna snap. This is just perfect conditions. We got a west wind, little bit of stability, enough wind to make it so that the high skies aren't gonna bother these fish and they're just gonna bite. You can just feel it. Looks like a good fish. Pretty big mouth on them. Let's see if we can keep them up there for enough time to get him in the scoop. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. Yeah, it's one thing about the baits we're pulling that we're gonna talk about today is you're gonna catch bigger fish on baits like these big bandits. Because here's the thing, that fish almost got himself off. Here's the thing, the baits we're pulling are big, aggressive baits. We're trying to grab their attention. When you're fishing basin, like we are today, we well, gotta understand, there we go, simple as that. Sometimes it's easiest to just get them like that. Really nice fish. Look at that eye. Great way to start a day. But one of the things that you gotta understand when you're out fishing basin fish like this, is you're trying to get their attention you're trying to get them wound up and get them to chase. That walleye right there, man, you come through there with a bandit. A big, heavy, big, deep rattle, big action. And you know what happens? He attacks it. There's a lot of lures I'm gonna put down that are gonna emulate bait fish. This is one that's gonna do both. It's gonna emulate bait fish, but man, it's a big, heavy rattle big heavy action and you know what it does it just ticks them off it makes them chase and sometimes that's more important than getting them on a perfect feeding bite you know sometimes getting them on a trigger bite i would call it is even yeah, just more effective There's fish right there. Look at that. This is dialed in right here. Right lure, right color, right action, right spot. Couple things I'll tell you. Perfect day for a fire tiger type lure fishing deep water. Something bright, something to get their attention. Perfect day for a big rattle. Fish should be aggressive today, and, and they are. I mean, we're finding that out right away. I mean, we got out here this afternoon, set up, did some driving, found some fish out here in the basin, and the whole key is just grabbing their attention, and they're, they're wound up on this lure. I mean, that's, that's pretty doggone good when you go as little a distance as I've gone, and fish are just biting it. I mean, it's pretty automatic and what's causing that we've just we've just got the right combination down there but I guessed on a pretty aggressive combination you know a bright lure a heavy lure when I say heavy I mean heavy action heavy rattle big deep rattle and when you choose that that stuff in these conditions more often than not you get fish and you get them pretty consistently. Now, might I use this same lure in a cold front? Some days, but you know what? I might start with something a little bit more subtle if I were dealing with a cold front or, or you know, something, something ugly. But what I'm dealing with here today, this is the perfect lure. I mean, they're just smashing it. 
another great fish. But you know what? We're getting good quality fish too. And that's one of the cool things about using a big, deep, heavy lure. If you put something more subtle down there, you just flat out won't catch them. But this big deep diving bandit, man, they're just, they're just eating it. I mean, it's, it's that easy. Fish, look at that. Wow. <laughs> this is fun stuff. You get on a good trolling but you look around, there's nobody out here. We're all alone. This is just a good, solid trolling bite on big water. A lot of what we're doing is just giving these fish a big, aggressive look. And that's a big deal. I just changed the color to see how much difference it would make. <laughs> that quick, you're just hooked up again. Bright colors are a big deal in these situations too. And these fish are out here deeper. Another good fish. Another really good fish. Look at that. Come here, buddy. That is a mouthful of bandit crankbait right there. Look at that. Awesome walleye. This is so much fun. Oh, I love Lindy Reagan. I, I, I love fishing in general, okay? But I'll tell you, I think it is so cool when you get on a trolling bite. Look at that. Another great fish, they're quality fish too. And you know why we're getting these quality fish? Because we're using a big, aggressive bait. Let's talk a little bit about the location and what's got these fish here. We're nearby structures. There, there are structures here, but these fish that we're catching, they've bailed off the structure now. And that's because there's so much bait in the lake that the bait's running around everywhere and there's no reason for these fish to be sitting there on that structure anymore. There's bait everywhere. Part of that is because when you get to the end of summer like this or the middle of summer, toward the end, like we're in right now, let's call it the back third, August. Here's what happens. A lot of the bait grows up. It leaves the shoreline. It leaves the mid-lake structure and it wanders all over because it's not as scared. It's growing up itself. And once that bait starts moving, those walleyes, they're gonna follow because all they know how to do is eat. I mean, the one thing about a walleye, he knows two things, spawn and eat. It's all he knows, so he's just gonna follow that bait. Here's the other thing though, when they get out into these deeper water situations off a of structure, a lot of times they change their food preference and they go to bigger stuff. Tulabees, maybe big ciscos. Well, that's why I'm running these big bandits because here's the deal, I'll just grab this one here and show it to you. Look at the profile of that bait. That is a big, big bait. And when you have a big bait and then you add in that rattle, I mean, listen to that. That is just crazy deep. It's, you know, it's got everything that you could want to grab a walleye's attention out in the middle of nowhere. And I'm running the walleye deep today and you'd say, well, you know, you're running lead core, you don't need that deep bait. Here's why I'm doing it. The walleye deep, I'm just letting out less lead core, but what that deep diving lip gets me is that big wide action. And that's what they're looking for now when they're aggressive. So that's why I'm running the deep, even though I'm using lead core. There's one right there. Right on that inside turn, he snapped it. I don't think this one's as big. Well, well, I don't know. You know, now the line's tightening up coming around that turn. See, I was just on an inside turn, so that bait really slowed down. And I spent a lot of time there just bringing some slack. I suppose he hit it. Kind of kept going that direction as I was on that turn and never got the line super tight, I saw him hit it. And I thought for a sec, oh, I wonder if I might have lost that one, but nope, there he is. He's up right there. Another good one. Look at that. Man, we are just crushing them. Just crushing them. Just a case of pulling the right bait. Pulling a bait that's got these fish excited. We're getting the better fish in the system. To bite it, it's another really nice eye. What a great day of fishing, man. Day, what do I, I don't even wanna call this a day. This has happened so fast, it's just crazy and it's another awesome fish. Great fish. Great way to wrap up a day, this was awesome. Get out and do this. When I talk about wrapping up a day, how about wrapping up a pass? <laughs> I mean, that was unreal. We have caught one after another through here. 
just running big aggressive baits out in the basin. What a beautiful fish. That is cool. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs>